John, wake up. What is it? Next door, I, I heard a scream. Stay here, go check it out. John? Is everything all right? Oh my God, they're covered in blood. Go back inside, it's not mine, it's not. Go back inside and call an ambulance right now. Go! Hello, welcome to What the Flick. Christy, Matt Atchity, William Bibiani is back because he likes creepy dolls. I <laughs> do? What? You're like, please let me talk about Annabelle with you guys. I'm desperate. Guys, um, I'm so alone. It's so sad. I need a creepy doll to keep me warm. <laughs> anyway, so Matt is going to describe Annabelle. Yes. What is Annabelle? Uh, I don't know. I didn't see this movie. Uh, <laughs> so I don't really have a review. I'm going to try and describe it. Um, it's a doll that's haunted, and uh, somebody gets the doll, and bad things happen to him. I think, sort of. Uh, that's pretty much that's, the that's whole it. movie. That's, yeah. that's it. You nailed it. Nice yeah. job. <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> what is there left to be scared of? This is the last of them. How did that get in there? I swear, I threw it out. Things must have got mixed up. There, she fits right in. Come to mommy. Come to mommy. Come to mommy. is a ghost. Sometimes demons can attach themselves to objects. What do I do? Protect your family. prequel to The Conjuring. You saw The Conjuring. No. Okay. I did not. You're totally unqualified ah. today to do this job. It's okay. No, it's a doll in a box, right? In The right. Conjuring. A doll in a box. Yeah, a doll in a box girl. The movies. Oh, really? Have yeah. you seen Magic with the with no. the haunted eventual? Is that or Puppet Master? Or? I've seen Puppet Master. All right. Yes, okay, I've seen, okay. I've so seen get, two or the, three Puppet Master movies. It's a genre. Yeah. So, I mean, this should be like wacko, bat shit, really fun, crazy, and it's not. It's none no. of those no. things. <laughs> this is, it's interesting because, you know, horror movies you want to exploit, you know, a fear or anxiety or guilt. You want to scare people. And there's fewer cheaper scares, there's fewer cheaper scares than a, a creepy doll. People find creepy dolls creepy. So all you really had to do was shove the doll into the movie and have it do creepy stuff. And Annabelle forgets to do that. The doll <laughs> is just sort of sitting there in a chair and then the radio comes on. And I'm like, what? <laughs> the, the doll should do something. You're missing an enormous opportunity. The most the doll ever does in this movie is like... It floats <laughs> on a string. Well, it takes place in the 60s. Uh, it's like, well, it's yeah. around the time of, of the Manson family, right? Yeah. And so what they're, what they're trying to say is that there's this cult that killed people, and um, it's clearly meant to be a, a Manson family kind of killing. They, they specifically show the Manson family on the news the night before this completely separate cult kills a bunch of people. Right, but um, they're very, very much going for that time, that vibe, um, mm -hmm. a Rosemary's Baby kind of thing. The, the main character, the woman who was pregnant, mm -hmm. her character's name is Mia. Right, and her then when daughter's <laughs> name is Leah. Right, right, right. And when she pushes, she's pushing her her baby in a baby carriage that is like straight out of Rosemary's Baby. Like we're going for a, a, a Polanski-esque kind of vibe here uh -huh. that they never achieve. Well, they're they're not as good <laughs> as Polanski. But, you know, this movie begins with this couple. Uh, you know, she's pregnant. He's about to become a doctor, and they are the most boring humans I've ever seen in a movie. I th I was getting ready, like, okay, so we're gonna see these two die. Then the doll's gonna get haunted or something, and then we're gonna move on to the real main characters of this movie, right? About 15 minutes in, I'm like, oh god, we're stuck with these people. Yeah. The only way I got through it was pretending they were the younger versions of Mr. and Mrs. Generic from Bobby's World. Like that's they're so bland. That has I had to be comical. Of, like somebody who would be in like a, a touring um, group of the Book of Mormon. 
Norman. Like he, oh, yeah. he was so milk toasty, blandly, he, sweetly. He earnest. was so milk toast and sweet. I didn't trust him. I right, thought we were gonna right. find out he was in the cult. Like something, someone live in these people up. They have no outside interest. The most interesting thing they do is like she sews. What she sews, we never see. Does she make money off of it? I don't know. Uh, they 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 have <laughs> one argument in the movie. It's right at the beginning, and this is how boring their lives are. Uh, she's pregnant, and he's like, well, being a parent might be a little difficult. That makes me emotional. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wow, I'm really in their lives. Oh, and this is a movie, you know, I think it was Truffaut who said you can't watch a movie that's set in or shot in your hometown. So this movie oh, takes place right. in Santa Monica and Pasadena. Uh, they start off in Santa Monica, they move to Pasadena. Now, if you don't know how far away that is, it's about a 30, 35 minute drive in no traffic. Um, but, uh, they still go to their church in Santa Monica, which right. was within walking distance of their house. There are plenty of churches in Pasadena, I assure yeah, you. The 60s, and there was no traffic in LA. And even <laughs> if that's true, even if Nancy that's true, right. later in the movie, uh, someone gets hurt at that church, and they take them to Huntington Hospital in Pasadena, and that's a plot point. You take them, <laughs> you have to drive past the UCLA Medical Center to get to that hospital. Mm -hmm. Like, that's how ridiculous, like, they, it, it, people who work in the entertainment industry know Los Angeles. How did that happen? These things bother me, too, about geography. Like, yeah. if, a, if, a, if a freeway is supposed to be the 110, it's actually the 105. Anyway, yeah. we, we could be here all day talking about that. Yeah. But it's not scary. There's a couple of good jumps, a couple of decent little jumps. I would hope so. And then, they, and then Alfred Woodard is in it as the kindly neighbor and bookstore owner uh -huh. who um, is kind of a magical Negro figure. Oh, she's a magical she's Negro. She's kind of magical. And how magical <laughs> is she? She's supposed to be playing an old woman, and I don't feel like I should apologize for this. Alfred Woodard hasn't aged in 20 years. She looks, she looks like she could pass for 40. Yeah. Like, she looks amazing. She's and she's like, elderly. you know, I'm an old woman fooled with regret. I'm like, no, you're 40. I want you to, like, <laughs> club this woman over the head and make out with her husband. Like, that's... <laughs> How she's great. That's she's Bibbs's so fantasy. wasted. Oh, that is my fantasy. If we're Thank gonna get personal much. here, so yes, yeah. it's not scary. And they, they yeah. yeah, they just shoot the doll. The doll. I keep waiting for the doll's eyes to move, or for like an evil anything. smile, or something. It's a haunted yes. house movie, and there happens to be a doll in the house. That is such a waste of a premise. And the Conjuring set up Annabelle to be like the scariest thing that the uh, paranormal investigators in that movie had ever had. It's the only thing in their like closet of wonders that is locked up and says never open. Right. And now we see what it is, and it's like, it's not as scary as the other stuff in that room. It's terrible. And it's also just sort of a generic kind of exorcist movie in that there's yeah. a demon, there's, there's demonic possession. There is yeah. like a straight up like ram horn demon looking yeah. thing. And there's, we've seen that so many times There's before. this one shot of the ram horn demon, and he's like holding the doll in front of him. And I'm just like, <laughs> it looks like we caught him at playtime, and he's really embarrassed. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, this movie's this terrible. This is what it looks like. <laughs> so it's not scary. It's just sort of, it, gets, it gets silly and screechy. It's like the repetitive yeah. kind of staccato strings, like the ee! Everyone was laughing at like the bigger, scarier, more dramatic moments at the end in our in our screening. Yes. Like when there's this big reversal, like you know, I'm a sacrifice myself. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't That's laughing. Not good. It wasn't laughing like laughing to temper our fear. It wasn't mm -hmm. laughing like to make ourselves feel comfortable. It was like laughing because it was just dumb. Well, even the the opening title card got some laughs yeah. in our theater because it was just like, since the dawn of time, <laughs> dolls have been beloved by children and also used in cult rituals. I'm like, whoa, whoa, you need like an ellipsis in there or something. You have a segue between beloved by children and cult rituals. Anyway, it's it's a bad movie. And John R. Leonetti, I want to say John Leonetti, the director. Great director of photography. He shot The Conjuring. The Conjuring is one of the best looking horror movies of this new century that we're in. It's incredible. And he did not direct this one well. I don't want to like single him out for cruelty. I'm trying to single him out for praise because he's got talent, but he did not bring it to this. I will say it is, is production design to death. Like all the little <laughs> knickknacks in their house and like the dresser drawers and all of like the clothes and just like the period detail uh -huh. they did nail without going into over the top like late 60s, 70s kitsch. And yet they did all this detail without giving their house any personality. Like the most personality I saw in that house was there's this one painting they have of an owl. And I thought, oh, someone of that house must, likes owl, must like owls. <laughs> That's all I got out of it. There's yeah. nothing, I, I learned nothing about these people and I just, I couldn't wait for them to die. Okay, but do they die? That's the thing. We don't tell. Okay, so what is your number? Uh, I give it a 2.4. It's pretty terrible, but if you're like, want to laugh at a bad horror movie, it's, I've seen worse. I give so. it a three. I'm vaguely a bit higher than you, so our average is 2.6. It is where on the tomato meter? 29%. It's pretty 29% on the tomato meter. Um, yeah, don't see this, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>